Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's me Pixella and today we have Pal's daycare build. So this is a daycare that I build for all ages, basically from babies, infants, toddlers and children. Even though maybe children shouldn't be in daycare anymore, I was like okay let's make it as a preschool. So a bit of information on this build, this build contains a baby room, a baby sleeping room, an office obviously for the, the directors, the bosses, then we have a toddler's room, a kid's classroom, an activity room, a kitchen, two bathrooms, a teacher's lounge, and finally a backyard. So I think this would be a great build if you combine it with maybe a mod like the daycare mod or some kind of school related mod just so you can get the full benefit of using this lot. Okay, so as you can see right now, I am building the exterior. So on that second floor is where the teacher's lounge is. And I'm also kind of pushing it backwards just so I have space to create a parking lot. Now you are going to see, I'm going to be skipping some parts here and there just because I go through that by the bug category which is super long so you don't need to be watching all of that and we are not going for a beige modern type of aesthetic for this build what we're doing is a very nice vibrant and colorful one we want to really bring the joy of all the children in this daycare okay so right now you're seeing me draw out the parking lot lines and kind of uh, realigning everything then at the end here i'm just making it more realistic by adding this no park zone to it i'm also starting to color the exterior of the building at first i was like okay let's do it all a nice vibrant color and i was like i feel like this kind of green pale green is blending in a bit too much with everything else with that grass uh, and i was like we need a contrast and to make it look more realistic you're not only gonna have green walls everywhere right so i added this tone and you can see me kind of modifying this at the front as well we're like okay let's add even more contrast with this beige color and i'm really happy with how it turned out now we're adding a pop of white to make it look nice and vibrant and we're moving on onto those windows now the idea that i had in my head for the windows is just being able to put these big windows from floor to ceiling and where they are filled with all kinds of stickers because that's how i kind of see uh, daycares in my head you know they're always ha they always have some kind of thing sticked on those windows so i was really trying to recreate it as best as possible okay and then i found i was like oh my god we need this window you know where it's a window from one side and it's a mirror from the other and from my memories the director's office always had that kind of window where they can look into the kids room so that they have you know they're able to spy on the teachers a little bit um but from the other side they can't be seen and for the entrance door i found this really cute door that's from the i believe knitting kit uh, and it has some flowers on it so i just thought they fit perfectly with the whole vibe of the daycare so you're gonna see me finding it there you go this is the one and because it, there's only one i was like okay let's put two of them to make it more grand and for the doors on the interior side i wanted them to all have a window on them so that parents could look into the kids room as they drop off and they pick up their kids and as you can see stickers are a must basically everywhere now we are heading back to the exterior and just adding as much details as possible so adding this framing then adding a bunch of other stickers on the walls adding some poles to give it more of a structured look and you're seeing me adding these new poles from the new expansion pack that we just got and i thought it fit perfectly because of that little blue cute color that we have on that one row and now the fun begins stickers stickers uh, wall decorations paintings etc just to make it look as kiddish as possible and i was like wow look at that mural it fits perfectly on the side of my wall and you seeing we're adding labels and i'm just trying to find that perfect like combination of stickers on these windows
and also the stickers that you're seeing me add right here are for the baby room so i was trying to keep them really like nursery like so not too many bright colors because it is a nursery we don't want to overwhelm the babies and you're seeing me working on the exterior of the daycare where i'm just adding some benches so that the parents can sit down and relax and wait for their kids we also have some cars that are added to make it look a bit more realistic This is where the backyard will be. At first, I made it a bit too small, so you're, you're gonna see me kind of expanding it later on because I really wanted to incorporate a bunch of fun activities for all of the kids. And now for the flooring, it was a bit of a challenge in the beginning, finding that perfect flooring for the daycare because yes, I wanted it to be colorful, but I did not want it to be overwhelming. So I ended up picking this wood flooring, which has this, what is this, uh, hexagon, pentagon, I can't count right now, uh, type of pattern and it's gray and yellow and red which is perfect and i just counted it is a hexagon but as i was saying these yellow grayish colors with a pop of red although they add a nice daycare vibe to it it still keeps it modern and not too overwhelming So right here i'm just starting to work on that nursery room so the first part of it is kind of the playroom and then the second part of it is where the babies are going to be sleeping and then this door is for the bathroom so there's two bathrooms one of them is going to be like the general one where teachers can use and parents and the older kids and then the other one is more so for the toddlers i also wanted to have a designated diaper changing area so i included that as well and now we are adding the stairs for the teacher's lounge but yeah that's gonna be it for me so i'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the video let me know what you think i'll see you guys soon bye
Thank you.